Good evening, I'm your host Adam, coming to you from an undisclosed location, and this is Anything Strange. Sit back, relax, and most importantly, open your mind. Today we dive into the case of the M Cave. A hiker who got lost searching for a mysterious cave while making a YouTube video. In 2014, there was a man named Kenny Veach who went by the YouTube alias Snakebit McGee. Kenny was a hiker who liked to explore the deserts around Mount Charleston, not too far from his home in Las Vegas, and also Area 51. Well, here I am on my hike up here in the mountains north of Las Vegas. One day, Kenny posted a comment to an Area 51 video saying he was near Nellis Air Force Base when he saw a cave shaped like a perfect capital M. Normally, Kenny would explore any cave he saw, but said the closer he got to this particular cave, his body began to vibrate. The closer he got to the cave, the worse the vibrating became. He was so scared, he hightailed it out of there. The closer I got to it, the crazier my body felt and I was like all right I'm not gonna go in there right now. Nellis Air Force Base was a test site and bombing range for the Air Force that is still active today. It is so close to Area 51 parts of the two locations share a border. If this cave was military related the vibrations Kenny felt could have been caused by infrasound which the government has learned to deter people from locations or even stop them from protesting using sound waves. Kenny's post went viral, and everybody was encouraging him to go back to the M-shaped cave and see what was causing it to vibrate. He took all these messages as a challenge and went back searching with his video camera. In October 2014, he posted a 22-minute video hiking and searching for the cave, but with no luck. And it's about, it's about level with the ground, like, like right, like in an area like this. So I really got to keep my eyes peeled because I don't want to pass it. He posted his video and people trolled him, calling him a liar. He left a response saying that he was going to go back to the cave and prove them wrong. He also dared any naysayers to join him. He again said the M Cave was the only cave that he had ever feared entering. On November 10th, Kenny set out for a three day hike to search for the M Cave. He texted his girlfriend as he left, but three days later, he did not return. When search parties started looking for Kenny, they found his car at the edge of the mountains exactly where he planned to start his hike. Also during the search, they found Kenny's phone and some change next to a mine shaft where Kenny filmed his previous video. If Kenny had gotten lost or attacked by an animal, it would have made no sense for his phone to be left in the same place that he filmed his first video. So those theories are almost ruled out completely. One theory to Kenny's disappearance was that the government silenced him after he found something that he was not supposed to find. Whether it was military related with the Nellis Air Force Base or Area 51 related, it's all still up for debate. Another YouTuber named Sean has been filming videos and searching for Kenny and the M Cave for the past few years. I'll link to his channel down below. He's got some great content. In one of Sean's two hour long hiking videos, he found a part of the mountain that has this newer rock carved and placed almost as if it's blocking where a cave could be hidden. He went back and watched Kenny's video from October 2014, and Kenny passes the exact same location while mentioning he can't find the M cave again. Rocks are sitting here right now because they're all separate. How are they even holding themselves up? So if Sean's theory is correct, and the government blocked the M cave, it was done directly after Kenny's first post went viral, and the cave was already being blocked when Kenny went searching for the M cave the second and third time. I have not seen the funny looking little cave, but I did see a rock cairn, so somebody has been down here. What happened to Kenny remains a mystery, and so does the M cave. Has it been blocked by the government or Area 51? Feel free to follow Sean as he plans to make more YouTube videos and more trips and search for the site. But you better hurry because Nellis Air Force Base is expanding to take over the entire location 
and keep people out forever. And something about that cave just spooked me out of all the caves I've ever gone in. This one just made my body vibrate. The closer I got to it, the crazier my body felt. And I was like, all right, I'm not gonna go in there right now, but I'm coming back someday. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. And if you wanna see more strange stories, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Don't forget to add me on Instagram at anything strange TV. And until next time, I'm your host, Adam, bringing you stories about anything strange.